Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. This video is going to be dedicated to showing you how to hold a bowling ball. And I'm going to focus this or intend this use for you newcomers to the game for beginner bowlers, but of course everyone's welcome to listen. Uh, first of all, the manner in which you insert your fingers and thumb into the ball uh, is commonly referred to as the grip. Holding the ball is your grip. And a good grip, the purpose of it really is to enable you to eventually make a good delivery. Now, to hold the ball properly begins with supporting the weight of the ball on your non-bowling hand. I'll use an example. Imagine the ball on my left hand. My right hand then, I want to softly uh, place my bowling fingers. The bowling fingers are two middle fingers normally. There are other grips that people use from time to time, but typically the two middle fingers and your thumb are the fingers for your grip. You want to insert the fingers into the bowling ball first. Uh, that's a common practice. And if it's a conventional bowling ball, a conventionally drilled bowling ball, they go down to the second knuckle joint, all the way to the second knuckle joint in that fashion. And if it's a fingertip grip, you only insert it to the first knuckle joint. So the pads of your gripping fingers are down into the ball all the way to the back of the knuckles. Okay? Conventional here, fingertip here. The thumb should go all the way in the ball, all the way down to the second joint. As far as it'll go, keep it nice and straight. We don't want to knuckle over and grab it or only put it in part way. We see that a lot with bowlers who struggle uh, developing a good and successful releasing action. Next, um, the thumb, when you insert the thumb down into the ball and the fingers in the ball first, and that is done properly, there shouldn't be a lot of separation between the surface of the ball and the palm of your hand. It should fit fairly snug. You don't want to overstretch that would be an incorrect uh, drilling for you. Or you don't want to cramp your fingers up like this, where there's too much space. should fit flatly and smoothly. When your hand is placed properly into the holes of the ball, there should be a little bit more gripping pressure on your fingers than your thumb. Maybe twice as much, something like that. Uh, the reason is, is when you properly release the bowling ball, we call that moment of release, precisely down by your sliding foot when the ball exits your hand. We'd like to see the thumb exit first, and the fingers then could impart the rotation uh, to give the ball the ability, uh, some people call it spin, but it's really rotating the axis of the ball just slightly. It doesn't take much, maybe a couple hours on a clock dial, to rotate the ball enough so it'll go down the lane and then get to the break point about two-thirds of the down the lane and hook to the pocket. So if the thumb and fingers exit together, you have less opportunity to rotate the ball and of course, if the fingers were to exit first, which a lot of you do by letting the wrist collapse, uh, then the thumb stays in longer and it'll skid the ball a little further than you might want. Of course, a straight ball delivery comes off your hand and rolls forward end over end. It's not going to tilt the axis much and it won't hook much for you. So if you want to throw a hook ball, getting the thumb out a little quicker is better. We recommend a wrist support device to train. And some people even prefer to use it all the time because it regulates the moment of release and it helps your thumb get out before the fingers. All right, so gripping the ball comes from fingers first, then the thumb, conventional grip down to the second knuckle joint, fingertip to the first knuckle joint, and, uh, and also the pitch angles are drilled. So it, what we need to remember is the pitch angle should be drilled custom fit to your hand. So you should buy your own bowling ball. Every bowler that's going to bowl, even on occasion, just occasionally, socially, should own their own bowling ball. So you can get a ball to fit you, avoid injury, uh, it's a safety uh, a measure for you because a ball could peel the skin off your hand or pull a tendon or something like that could possibly happen. It won't happen uh, most likely if you have a ball drip filled and uh, fitted, excuse me, and drilled uh, for you specifically. So that's very important. The house balls, as they're referred to, the typical bowling balls you find at the bowling center on the ball racks near the lanes for the use of the general public. Those are just drilled randomly. Usually the holes are bigger and, and the spans are a little longer. The span is the difference between the thumb and the finger holes. Uh, and that is uh, typically the heavier the ball, the bigger the holes, and the bigger the span. But it, that doesn't necessarily hold true for someone that can use a ball. If a lady wants to use a 15-pound ball and has a small hand, sometimes the 15-pound balls, the holes are so big, it doesn't fit. So get yourself your own bowling ball, please. It's important to do so. And I hope some of these tips help you on holding a bowling ball. And uh, while you're here today, why don't you take a little bit more time to look around and look for the wonderful bargains we offer at BowlingBall.com. We have great prices. 
and uh, we have just virtually everything under the sun in supply in stock we can deliver with free shipping to you uh, right away with no handling charges no hidden charges whatsoever uh, so take a look if you find something you want to purchase just simply follow the easy to order online instructions and remember our store is always open and we very much thank you for visiting bowlingball.com